What's up guys, this is Nick at stridewise.com and today I have a very unplanned video. Uh, I don't have a script or anything, but I did just buy two new pairs of jeans this week and they are the weirdest pairs of jeans I've ever bought and I just happened to have bought the two weirdest pairs of jeans I've ever had in the same week. So I thought I'd do like an unboxing here on camera for you. I'm very excited about this. These are both uh, salvage jeans. They're both of Japanese origin and I couldn't really decide which one to open first. So I'm gonna go with the one I got from Blue and Green in Soho here in New York. Uh, Blue and Green is widely considered like the mecca of salvage Japanese denim in the United States. I'm very lucky to live quite close by so I can actually try it on and uh, get the right fit for myself. So uh, here we go. Check out these jeans from Blue and Green and then we're gonna jump into another pair that I got in the mail straight from Spain by way of Japan. So these jeans are my first pair of sugarcane jeans. There's a lot to say about this pair of jeans um, that might not have been quite as much of an unboxing for you as it was opening a bag that I got from the store. But uh, I purchased these earlier this week and I just got them back from the store after they cut off a, a couple inches of denim on the bottom to make them fit me a bit better. So a few things that I really need to point out with this jeans. The minor thing is that these are made with a sugarcane fiber, so uh, sugarcane's denim. I've read anywhere from 30% to 50% of it is a sugarcane fibers, the rest being cotton. So that's like a really interesting part of it. It means they won't stretch quite as much, but uh, a lot of people say it adds some like lightness and breathability to this 14 ounce denim. The other thing, the main thing is this is made from two different kinds of denim. And honestly, here in the sunlight is much more stark than it was inside the store. But I'm still excited about this, right? So basically, uh, when it comes to salvage denim, some people like to look for in the denim is slub and nep. And what they've done here is had one of the legs made from neppy denim, meaning you can see like the cotton fibers protruding through the surface. It looks a bit like it's covered in snow. And then this one is slub, meaning it's like it's just a lot more textured uh, as well, but not quite as neppy. So you've got one leg from nep and one leg from slub. And even on the back of it here, you can see that they got one, uh, it's a very horsehide patch here at the top. It says Aloha on it because I believe the sugar cane comes from Hawaii. And then you got a snake skin leather up on this one on the other side. So there's really, there's a big dichotomy going on here. You've got different uh, pockets as well. So the slub side has a neppy pocket and vice versa. And there are even two different types of pocket bags and two different types of uh, weave, right? You got right hand weave, right hand twill and left hand twill uh, on opposing sides. So it's a real gene with an identity crisis. It's so bizarre, but I've always wanted to try out sugarcane jeans. And I figured at this point with my collection, why not just go big and go home? So are these very reminiscent of heritage workwear from the 1940s, like a lot of like selfish denim? is no this isn't going to give you exactly the heritage vibe that some guys like from their old denim but what this is it's like experimental type of denim so it's like if you like naked and famous as denim for example which is like less heritagey work wary and more like let's see what kind of weird stuff we can do with fabric um, this is like a, a step up from that so it's in that sort of vein of selvage denim but it's a uh, more high-end and more expensive as well these were about $290 So the second pair of jeans that I got, uh, yes, they are light colored jeans. This isn't actually white though. Uh, it might look like white to the untrained eye. The color is actually a cru or a cru, uh, which actually just means unbleached cotton, right? So this is the cotton's natural state, the natural color of the jeans. Uh, it is getting warmer and I just don't have any light colored pants. And I was considering getting some stretchy chinos or something, but I decided to try and keep my summer look as you know, selva jean heritage as I could get. This is actually, originally I went to Blue and Green to get these jeans and uh, then they were sold out of them. But by that point, I really wanted these jeans anyway. So I ordered them online. And then while I was at Blue and Green, I got the other pair of jeans. So that's the story of how I got these two weird jeans. So the reason these jeans are weird, number one, they are a crew. Yeah, so it's unbleached cotton. It's a nice creamy sort of color. It, uh, I've been told it goes with everything. I haven't worn white pants in a really long time, cream pants, but I am excited for it. The other reason this is very weird, okay, uh, there's a green selvage idea as well. So there's like green going up the inside, kind of interesting. And also, this is so natural, 
Not only is it unbleached, not only is it salvaged, but they've even left the cotton seeds in the cotton itself. So normally that gets picked out, not in this case. So I'm gonna be walking around with uh, cotton seeds, um, but in a subtle way, sort of like the sugarcane jeans. Like if you just look directly at them, uh, you know, from a distance, you won't notice that they're so different, at least not in direct sunlight. Sort of the same with this. This will blend in just fine, but upon closer inspection, I'll be able to say, that's actually the cotton seeds in this. This is it's a pretty cool pair of jeans. So a bit more information about these Oni jeans. Uh, okay, so on the Redcast Heritage site, which is where I got them, which is a heritage company based in Spain, but they got my order here in a couple of days, which is pretty cool. Um, this says one good pair of lighter jeans will put you in good stead for a spring summer evening <laughs> and the Acru undyed denim highlights all the natural hue of the cotton. So it's actually organic cotton as well I've got to mention which is actually a big deal. A lot of people think it's sort of a gimmick but uh, like a massive massive percentage of the world's pesticides go towards cotton production and organic cotton uses none of that. Uh, so there is actually a decent argument to be made. I'm not taking a side here. There's a good argument to be made though that organic cotton is better for the environment. So it's, it's like a nice little touch. This is uh, unsanitary fries 14 ounce fabric with a fantastic slubby neppy and soft texture so standard organic cotton is stiff but only uses spinning technology to spin soft yarn and finish it softly i'm pretty excited this is made with uh, copper buttons and high quality pocket bags heavy duty bar tacks and a custom printed canvas patch and the salvage id that is green is in relation to the organic 100% eco standards plus it's a strong taper fit they call it like relaxed spike fit basically it's like a high-rise relaxed taper jean so i'm pretty excited about this and also get this like random free handkerchief as well so that's it that's my unboxing video two of the weirdest jeans i own for a wide variety of reasons i'm looking forward to breaking them in over the summer uh during my upcoming trip to california so expect to see them on me in the future uh and uh, i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe as well i got plenty more salvage denim and like heritage fashion type stuff coming up on the channel